Good afternoon, my name is Mohammed. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to play the three numbers. So it's going to be very simple, very quick, easy video. So let's get started. So yeah, as you can see, the numbers, you click on the numbers. Now you're in the number screen. When in the number screen, a customer come up and tell you, let me, I want to play one, two, one dollar straight. So as you can see, it's a one, two, one dollar straight cent. That's all you have to do. So let's say, for example, if a customer wants to play 50 cents straight. As it is, this is the default setting. So one two one, as it is, it's gonna play for fifty cents straight. The numbers. Now let's say for example if they wanna play a box. So one two one, a dollar box. That's all you have to do. It's very simple, very easy. Let's say uh, one two one, fifty cents box. Just click on fifty cents box and click on send. Do you have to listen to what the customer is saying? Obviously they they might tell you what they want. You have to listen to them. Now this is the straight in box. Now this is 50-50. So let's say for example the customer wants to play 1 to 1 50-50. As you can say it means 50 cents straight, 50 cents box. Rather than playing it 50 cents straight and 50 cents box, you could do it together and there will be one ticket that will say the number 50 cents straight and 50 cents box in one ticket. So let's say for example the customer wants 1 to 1 50 cents combo. The price changes. The price changes is going to be 150. If you play for a co dollar combo, it's going to be for three dollars. Obviously, the the number, the number, the more number it matches. Let's say, for example, uh, one, two, three. The 50 cents combo is going to turn into three dollars. Obviously, because there's more numbers you're playing. Combo is basically like playing it straight. But as combo, you're playing it straight either ways, all the different ways, which means you win more money in this combo. Combo, uh, as I explained. Uh, so one, two, one, 50 combo. Obviously, this same double numbers and two becomes 150 so if you use a number like three one two three combo is the price becomes three dollars so as you can see combo is a big thing um there, there's also a thing called front and back so let's say for a customer customer comes in tell me please one two one dollar front now the, the dollar front sign as you can see there's an x on, on on the end what does that mean if the customer plays this number and the number comes out one two three in the midday or evening one two you'll win forty dollars if you play for a dollar for fifty cents you win uh well yeah you win about twenty dollars so most people do play for a dollar so they'll tell you what it is so obviously as you can see the number comes out three numbers obviously with three numbers if it comes out one two they'll win not in the four numbers four number has its own front and back pair so that's only works with, with with three obviously one two now the back meaning if the last digits are one two they'll win for a dollar they won four dollars so that's how you play it for your dollar back evening at this time we're playing and you click on send and the tickets will be played for evening now uh, obviously the amounts as you can see it's a fifty cents a dollar two uh, five dollars and, right, and so fine. now I explain about the amounts now we go through the time of day now this is called midday and this is called evening and this is the button which just says both. So let after 12:20 till 7:30, it's gonna be evening. After 7:30, when it breaks, then it starts midday. From there till 12:20 in the afternoon, it's gonna be midday. Now, a lot like for example, at this time we're at evening. So let's say for example, if a customer wants to play one to one, as I said, dollar straight for evening, which is right now. You just click on send, it's gonna be evening. So let's say, for example, if a customer wants to play the same number, one to one, dollar straight, but for tonight evening, tomorrow midday. Simple rule, just click on both. It will tell you for tonight evening or tomorrow midday. Now it's automatically it's gonna be dollar straight, and the ticket is gonna come up. It's gonna be for one to one, dollar straight for midday, tonight evening, tomorrow midday, and that's it for dollar straight. That's how it's going to be working. Um, now, if let's say for example um, I'm gonna make it more challenging we'll click on both but they don't want to play for tonight evening they want to play for tomorrow midday evening which is Wednesday so simple rule just go to uh, today advanced draws that's what it means you can play these games into seven days you go to Wednesday and now we're in Wednesday so one two one dollar straight Wednesday midday and evening because they want to play for both or they could do midday or evening whichever they want and you could click on that send and that's it that's how it is now your game should be one to one dollar straight midday for wednesday but it's only advanced play if the customer requests it other than that the default setting you keep on going back is going to be just like this what i what i have on my screen obviously the midday or evening whichever what the time of day it is uh advanced draw like i said you could play games in advance so let's say for example we're going to play games for friday 
You can Friday through, you can even do it till like next Friday coming up, like today's Tuesday. Friday through Monday, you can play a game. So obviously the price is going to be different. So let's say if they want to play for a dollar straight, for each day it's going to be a dollar because you're playing a dollar straight for evening only or midday and evening. Obviously it's going to be eight dollars because you're playing for the midday dollar. Evening a dollar is going to be eight dollars and that's how it is for advanced play. A simple rule is very easy. Number of tickets. Sometime a customer comes in and tells me he wants to play one to one, a dollar straight, uh, ten times. The same ticket ten times, but not in one ticket. People want a separate tickets. You click on send, the machine will print out the same ticket ten times separately. That's what the uh, the the the, the mess, uh, it is. Now, um, let this finish because I'm in training mode. Each time this does come up, we'll be in training mode, but a regular machine won't be like this. But that's the purpose of the 10 times. It should, it will play the ticket 10 times. Obviously, like I said again, this won't be popping up in your regular screen if you're playing it. Because I'm in training mode, this just keep on showing up. So let's just finish. Now, now it's finished. Uh, now we did this. Now, instant win is something very interesting. Instant win, you, let's say for example, the customer wants to play one to one dollar straight instant win. You play it and it tells you you cannot cancel it. What it means, instant win, when the ticket prints, the machine picks its own t numbers. Now, you have to match the numbers if whatever it is. So, I'll give you an example as in this ticket over here. As you can see, this is the ticket that came up. Uh, as you see, the one to one was a number, and the num the machine picks it instant win. That's why the number is two dollars. Now the triple zeros over here. If your number would have matched, you would have won. But obviously, this is the training mode. It, it just makes up the number. That's how it usually works with an instant win. Uh, same thing with a lucky sum. Lucky sum also has a similar thing. You can cancel lucky sum. It's not a problem. Lucky sum is like in the end, uh, in, in, like it's like a bonus thing. Every time there's a draw, there's a lucky sum number too. So it gives you the amount from there as well. Um, so basically, I covered this. Uh, the three or four numbers tickets you can cancel. The only thing you have to do is click on cancel. Now, once you click on cancel button, you have to either scan the barcode. Every uh, every uh, number has a barcode. You scan it, you can cancel it, but only to a certain extent. Which means, like, let's say for example, the draw for midday finishes at twelve twenty. You cannot cancel a number after twelve twenty for midday because the number's already drawn in. You could cancel it before that. They give you about half an hour, but after that, the light time limit exceeds, and you cannot cancel for the th for the three numbers. That's the thing. Um, a sale display should tell you the amount of numbers you've been playing so far. As you can see, we played all these numbers right now, and it tells you the total of twenty-seven dollars. So if a customer brings in thirty dollars, you just have to do thirty dollars. You click on total, and the change is three dollars. That's how it is. So this is the three numbers I went so far. A quick pick, if you want. Customers do play quick pick. So let's say, for example, if they put three numbers, they want the machine to quick pick. You click on dollar straight. Machine will, will generate a random number out of it, and you don't have to pick a number. That's how the quick pick works. So it's very simple, very easy. Uh, I I hope you guys learned from this video. If you have any other questions or comments, please comment, subscribe, like. I hope you, again. I'm gonna have another video on the four numbers, not in this one, another video. Hopefully, uh, you guys enjoyed it. Thank you again for watching the video. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video and learned from it. Thank you.